Hi guys, it's Dom here at Powerjet with another short video. Today I've got John Welsh with me, who's going to be explaining how to fit your reserve. Hey John. Hi Dom. Yeah, we're going to be looking at how to fit a underseat reserve on a Powerjet harness. We started by attaching our bridles to the shoulder points on the harness. Yeah. So if you haven't done that, you need to do that now. So I've got my bridles attached, you can see on both shoulders, they run through the sleeve at the top, down through the sleeve on the side, skip the sleeve underneath the arm, and then come all the way underneath and run through the sleeve. So we skip the sleeve underneath the arm. That's where we start from. Now I'm gonna lay the machine down. It's the easiest way to do it. I'm gonna lay it on a soft surface. So this is your reserve. This is what we're gonna fit right now. So first thing, turn it upside down, take your reserve handle, take the loop of it, pass it through the loop in the middle of the reserve, bring it back on itself. This is called a lark's foot. And it's how we attach the reserve handle to the reserve. So we've taken the reserve, we've just placed it in the clover leaf pocket, everything's open. First job, connect the end of the bridle from the reserve to the bridle that comes down from the shoulder attachments on the harness. We simply do that up, finger tight, no more. And this all gets tucked in there, out of the way, like that. Next stage is to start to do the whole thing up. So for that, I need a piece of string, paraglider line, shock cord, whatever you like. Okay, any uh, old string. Any old string. You need a little bit of force, so, you know, it needs a little bit of strength. Yeah. But, um, yeah, anything will do. So I've taken it through the loop. Yeah. I've taken it through the eyelet at the bottom. Uh -huh. I'm going up to the top now. Comes through the eyelet at the top. Piddling. There we go. And I now pull it tight. Okay, cool. The reserve handle, which we attach to our reserve here, has two pins. One's on a short piece of um, webbing, one's on a long piece. Okay. We take the one on the long piece and attaches here. Yeah. And once we've done that, we just ease this cord out. We don't whip it out because we don't want to cause unnecessary friction yeah. on the cloth loop. Okay. So we've done that side, exactly the same principle for the other side. So I've looped it through, the loop on the other side, it's going through the eye, comes out the eye, and then we need to take it through the top eye. Okay, so notice my piece of line, my cord, has gone over the bit of bridle from the handle that attaches to the reserve. Right. Okay, so I pull this all tight. Just needs a little bit of a jiffling. That's a technical term. It's a good word. It is. And then this pin, again, goes through the loop here. It's just a little bit tight, a little bit fiddly, but that's normal. Right, once it's through, again, just remove this piece of line very slowly, very carefully, trying to create as little friction on this loop as you possibly can. And out she comes, just like that. Now, at the stage where we're just tidying everything up. So both pins are properly secured. We have a length of bridle going to the handle. That runs through a little Velcro pocket. So I'm gonna close this up now. That's very tidy. Yeah, this should look nice. Good. The outer flap here covers, protects the pins, make sure they don't snag anything. That gets tucked in the slot there. And then finally the handle actually locates on a piece of Velcro down here. Nice. The top of it locates on a piece of Velcro here. Okay. Final job, just a little bit of tidying up. So we're just going to tuck this inside Great, good job, there you have it. Your reserve is fitted, 
and it's ready to go. Perfect, John. So this is how you fit it. This is not how you repack a reserve. Yeah. If you have any questions, if anything's not clear, call us or go see your local professional. They'll be more than happy to help you.